Hello, thanks for being in a brand new video. Let me tell you what I liked most and least about the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus in case you're considering buying it. So as always, let me tell you don't buy the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus without watching this video. Let's consider its launch price, which in Mexico has been 13,999 pesos. On the screen, you see the reference price in dollars, although remember that the prices here are not the same as those there. Also consider that in Mexico, prices are often exaggeratedly high. So if in your country this device costs much cheaper, maybe some things will sound very demanding. But I feel the need to demand a lot because the price is very high. I wish Xiaomi Mexico manages more competitive prices. Let's start with what I like the most. Remember that this device has infrared. So you can use it as a universal remote control, easily configured through the app. The 200 megapixel camera is very well utilized, not only within the high resolution mode, but also when zooming in, you will notice that it really gets to exploit to the maximum all the detail that this sensor is capable of offering. In addition, it also incorporates a professional video recording mode. That is, you can move various parameters even while you are recording the video. Something that definitely gives you very good content creation capabilities. Its lock screen is highly customizable. You can create different covers and styles. This will surely remind you a lot of the iPhone, and indeed, it does indeed resemble it. I believe they were inspired by the iPhone for this feature, but it's something we haven't seen present on many Android devices at the customization level. In the security options, we will also find good tools like Secure Folder, App Lock, App Cloning, and many more. In that sense, Xiaomi software always comes very well equipped with many options. The 120 watts charging is completely good. It finished from 0 to 100 in only 29 minutes. Also, the simple fact that if they include you charger to this day is already a plus, so you are going to enjoy this feature a lot. It also includes eSIM, a feature that is usually reserved for the high end. For those who don't know, it allows you by scanning a QR code to add a data plan instead of having to go buy a physical SIM card. It has a tremendously broad ecosystem. Remember that Xiaomi has lots and lots of devices that you can connect to your phone through the Xiaomi Home app, although Xiaomi Home can also be installed on non-Xiaomi phones. So, let's say this benefit is not exclusive. It also has IP68 level of resistance against water and dust. While at this price it is not the only one, yes we will also find at this price other devices that do not integrate that level of resistance, so that's why I wanted to highlight it. Lastly, it has 512 gigabytes of storage. This is definitely going to be one of its strongest points since it is a capacity that is usually reserved for the high end. And in this price range, yes, we could highlight it as a very attractive point. Now let's move on to what I didn't like. The front camera is not very accurate in colors. So let's just say that the colors might look a bit strange in some scenarios. In fact, the front camera still has a bit strange behavior in backlight. Portraits from this front camera will also come out weird, due to the fact that it is not able to keep objects in focus. One of its cameras is a macro camera. Unforgivable, obviously. At this price level, to see such a camera that is usually only incorporated for marketing purposes to mention that it has more cameras. The burst rate of this camera only allows for 20 pictures. It obviously falls quite short compared to other devices in this price range. It also doesn't allow us to take pictures in RAW. And again, at this price it's something we could ask for. It's definitely not a feature that will be used by all users, but more knowledgeable photographers could take advantage of these capabilities that are not present in this device. The front camera only records in Full HD. We've seen much cheaper devices with the ability to record video in using this front-facing camera, so this is definitely off-putting. In fact, video recording with the rear camera also looks a bit strange in terms of colors. Especially against the backlight, you will notice that it has a very basic performance when recording video. There are drastic changes in lighting, the focus also suffers, but what becomes even more annoying is that you're going to find advertising in several system apps. I understand this on devices that have a very tight price tag, but on a device that has not sought to be very economical, let's definitely say that this is very annoying. In fact, you could also get to receive notifications with advertising. And the one-handed use mode only adapts on the vertical axis. Very similar to what the iPhone offers us, so there are areas of the screen that remain difficult to reach. It also doesn't include Google's extended unlock either. It only has the smart unlock via Bluetooth devices that must necessarily be from Xiaomi if you want to have a kind of smart unlock. 
Also, it does not incorporate wireless charging. This is something that in the price range we can start demanding. It also includes a virtual proximity sensor. And again, in the price range we can't ask less from it. We need a physical proximity sensor for optimal performance. And finally, the MediaTek Dimensity processor falls a bit short in this price range. As you realize a lot of things were considering the price range, obviously this is not a bad processor but in the price range in which it is sold in Mexico, you will find other devices with much more powerful processors, so the heating in games is considerably high if you put it on high tests. So it all comes down to price. If you find it much cheaper, it will definitely be an excellent device, but I wouldn't recommend buying it at 13,999 pesos at all. If you already bought it, let me know how much it cost you. I hope you made a good purchase and I also hope you liked this video. If you did, you know you can let me know. And see you next time.